On this episode, we got a good one for you. That's right, baby. We're talking about the Calibri's stage show experience. Have you experienced it? You're about to. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you dog, you. Boom, check out Boom. that guy. Hey guys, this is Bobby, I mean, shit. Davey and Bobby, that's right, we're from the band Calibris, and this is Ask Calibris, episode 26. <laughs> All right, let's get it, let's get it rolling, boy. Oh, pop it in. What do we have on the docket today, my friend? Well, this is a good one. Here it comes. I know, because Please be. they're all good. Please be an easy one. From Twitter, Heather, at the Heather Prey. The Heather Prey? The Heather Prey, Ooh. dude. Have you ever used or considered using props or theatrics in your live shoes? Take it away, boy. I, if I may, I may field this question, thank you. <laughs> The answer, <laughs> Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, the answer to your question. The Heather. The Heather is yes. We have. What was the question she asked? If we considered, considered currently and current. or in the past? Yes. The answer, my friend, is yes, Heather. We have considered it, and in fact, we have and currently use props. A little um, history lesson, if, if I may, Heather. Growing up, these young lads in, in the, uh, in the land of America. Sub yeah, the, the suburbs of whatever you want. Um, growing up, we took great satisfaction and great inspiration from the monsters of theatrical rock and roll. Number one, we got White Zombie. Number two, you got Alice Cooper's. You got the Kiss. Even though Kiss sucks. Um, I'm gonna tell Gene, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Gene. So that's mine too, baby. You can't copyright Actually, that. Actually, I was looking at this. He wanted to copyright this. Isn't that weird? Ah, uh, you could have that. You could have that. <laughs> I'm gonna go this is I love you, dude. Oh, and this is Jerry Olney. And if I may, uh, I don't want to derail completely, but if we're talking about uh, rock symbols. Uh, <laughs> so we got Dio, we got Gene, and we got Danzig. <laughs> See, now I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole, but if I may, Danzig does, he has a specific. He sure does. See, what you do, you take your hand, you put the middle ones down, you do that, and but then you try to shrink the top as yeah. low as possible. He's good. And like then you that. do it like that. No, you do it. Like you say, like this. Or like that. And then. Uh, uh, not as if we're staring at um, Danzig's hands in every photo <laughs> that he's ever done, but I just want to point that but out. But Rob, and then there's uh, Rob Zombie, he does a lot of this. He's all about that. He's just, instead of a, yeah, we do the, yeah, he does, yeah, right? And yeah. if I may, what you have here, this is the horns. If you go too far like that, that's dork shit. That's close okay. Close them up, close them no, that's up. That's good, this works. Let them loose, let them hang okay. loose a little. All right, yeah. You don't want to do it like that. More like that. It's like a, yeah, well. There's like two antennas on it. How you do? On a rooftop. The bowl, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where was I going? Rock theatrics. Bowl. Theatrics. We love it. It's all good. They inspired us. Because if I may admit, there was a time where you you know the classic. You go to a show. Oh you yeah, love we a band. Did, you love we a did band, that. or you love a band. Yeah. You say, oh man, these guys are great. You go to the show. You say, this is. You see the stage. You say, that's the stage. Where's the stop? <laughs> okay. And then the band comes on stage, and you're like, oh man, why, the, why are all the roadies uh, still on stage? What are they all doing? Oh, that's the band! You hate it when 
the band looks like they just got off their shift at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Not cool, man. So with that, we vowed to never become dorks on stage. <laughs> Gotta have the props. As minimalist as they are in our situation, we still have to bring the big, big show to the tiny stage. Mm -hmm. um, what do we currently do now? Uh, you know, you got the classic rock banner. You got a big old banner behind. Gotta us. have the banner. Banner, preferably with the Kiss. band's name. Yeah. Name is important. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, you got a little bit of lights here and there. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. And then um, for a minute there, we had like these big other banners in the front stage with the daggers. That was pretty cool. Scorpion Touch, we had flags, if you've seen that. And then with helmets, Scorpion Touch helmets here. Um, oh, and some fog, always staple. Fog, if it works, you know, if the fog machine works that day, or the, because uh, we got we got killer fog machine and it, and it it could it could fuck up your venue, because um, you know yeah some men don't like that <laughs> some venues don't like that because you know they might blow out and shit. Um, anyways, fog shit around. You did rock the strobes for a while. Oh yeah, we did the old strobes. I've had like this thing and you go pow and it go, do, 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 do. Lots of strobes. Basically anything that could fit in the van and in that given moment, whatever it could fit. Van slash tram. Um. Back in the day, a little Caliber's history again. We used to bring TVs on stage. Big ass TV, dude. And this is pre box TV. Yeah, this is pre. What do you call them? Flat screen. Flat screen. This is full screen, baby. Fat screen. That screen, yeah. We call them that. The we screens, call them that. the TVs you can get at uh, Goodwill for a buck. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> for all you. What? what you mean TVs? Youngins We're out there? Fun. For all you youngins, uh, the TV actually used to weigh about 800 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, yeah, you could use a TV stadium. as uh, your barbells if you wanted to. A little bit of this. You could. So heavy. Not recommended. <laughs> We get it, they're heavy, okay, we get it. Um, and then we bring those out on stage and uh, play a, a, ver a variety, a clip show, if you will, of horror movies, and that would, um, you know, be pretty cool. Basically, strobes, fog, and uh, TV, and basically anything to, uh, um, to distract anybody from actually watching us. That became a problem. <laughs> yes. No, Everyone was watching the screen instead of us. So, fuck that screen. It's all about us, baby. <laughs> Plus, it was heavy and, and, you know, it's outdated after a while. Um, what else? If we could. I mean, yeah, the I old love, if. I would love to have a giant. I would love for Dave to have a Ooh. giant skull to drum upon. <laughs> like... Chuck, fu Chuck fucking biscuits. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you Chuck sneeze. fucking biscuits. Where is he? <laughs> no. Chuck fucking biscuits, man. Chuck fucking biscuits. Okay. Um. Uh, I personally would like to um have uh, a large row of fake ass amps behind you, but one real. One. Oh, I was gonna say um or all the real. Sure. Uh, I was gonna say, a nice wardrobe changes. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You know, come out one cool shirt for one song, one then black I, to then another black, and then another shade of black on the next song. That'd be cool. I just like, uh, or I, I've always envied the um, uh, fire. Guys that play with fire. Now here's That's a little history lesson. Dude. Again, more history lesson Jeez. going down. That is true, Mr. Michael Hetfield, Jackson. Uh, Michael Jackson, Mr. Jackson. They both played by the sword and they died by the sword. <laughs> There's always that. There's always the the threat of um, oh I don't know. 
Great White. And since we are um, uh, uh, from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, we've had the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the honor of being part of a modern day history of a recent what? local what? Uh, pyrotechnics gone wrong. At Jack it? <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no one... Delete the name. <laughs> that was a thing. Everyone knows. Don't call them out. I mean, uh, <laughs> keep just call that White Chapel. Yeah, or, okay, that's old. Or White Chapel or whatever. White Snake. Or er, <laughs> Great White. But okay, um, uh, put, the ball, put the black bar on his mouth when he does that. Keep it all anonymous. <laughs> keep the venue anonymous. Keep the, the oh, oh. band anonymous. I'm just saying. I don't want to start crazy, anything. Yeah. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It feels bad. But just it just so happened to light things on fire, and then not really fire, but then the sprinklers, and it kind of caused uh, caused some damage to everyone. This and that, and there was uh, suing, and everyone's mad, and everyone's pissed off. But it's kind of funny. And what, what can you do? Un I don't know. Unfortunate. Now, an unfortunate event for the. If you're playing, <laughs> if you're playing with fire, you might get sued. <laughs> yeah. You might die, and you might kill everybody <laughs> around you. Now, if you're like a Metallica band, or, um, you know, the guy with the glasses, and he's like kind of like Metallica, but Avenged Sevenfold. Um, <laughs> if you're like Avenged Sevenfold or Volbeat, yeah, you got the big stage, you got the, the place to play with. Okay, I've seen some pictures. That's cool. But even the even the greats, even the giants of rock, still, James Hetfield got burned. There's no Ooh. guarantee. I think they do fire still. What? They might do fire still. Like, That's on, like man. a guy. Does Ghost do it? I'm not sure. I think it's more of that smoke that goes up That's that true. makes it look like fire. That's the safe way. And that's okay. You know, yeah, James Hetfield, he, he was like the surfers who surf and get bitten by a shark. But you know, he said, I'm going back out there, baby. It's like, okay. With that being said, all that aside, um, well, not really all aside, that certainly, you know, with fire and uh, the, uh, oh, I don't know how it could, like you said, kill, maim, destroy. That didn't stop us. Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't that. We didn't kill crazy. anybody yet. <laughs> or we didn't, I don't think. Uh, w basically, uh, it didn't stop Mr. Uh, James Calabrese, our brother. Yes. We did have a, a certain, uh, we wanted to add more to the show. We had the lights, we had the, the fog, we had it all. We did everything you could think of that could fit on a little stage. Big stage sometimes. Mediums. Medium, bam, moving up. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what you call it. I think it was... A flare had, gun of sorts. No, it was a magician's... A magician. It was a magician's it's for act. magicians, yes. I guess you'll have to ask him. Ask Gilbert. <laughs> but it was a... Yeah, peace be with... Uh, it was a Spider-Man fucking <laughs> yeah. thing, thing he put on his hand. And I think it's for magicians when you do... And, and is this your card? And then you pull it out and a flame comes out of your, your wrist. And he would do that at the end of a song. Yeah, we go... Dibba, 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 dibba. Yeah, and out. I would say it was a pretty large flame for... Was it? I think so. Maybe that. Maybe that much. Is that a lot? <laughs> no. It, it was a blast. I it think like, it, would, it could reach possibly the ceiling. We did We did it in the medium-sized venues. Yes. Not the smaller ones. I will admit it was pretty cool. Um, Still got but it, it happened so fast that... Yeah, who saw it, right? No one even caught a picture of it. Who, who knows? I think I remember one time we did it and um, a guy came up and said, Is there fire? He said, Oh my God, did I actually just see a bolt of flame <laughs> fly out of Jim's hand? And I said, Yes. Yes, you did. I think he was the only guy that ever saw it. Because yeah. it was so fast. The, um, there was one time I remember Jim used it. It was uh, in Hollywood, beautiful Hollywood, California, at the knitting factory doing some sort of dead fest thingy, Bob. Right? And he did it. And if you were there, which you might have been, 
you saw it. But did you know what you saw? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> magic, perhaps? Do you believe in magic? Do we believe in magic? Mm. Is gym magic? Where am I going with this? I don't know, but we used some fire here and there, but still got that thing over somewhere. Yeah, um, you know, whatever Rob Zombie's got, mixed with a little bit of Danzig, mixed with Ghost got some sick ass stuff behind them. That's true. And good manners and, and et cetera. Like that. So, was the question if great. we could? Yeah. We'll what we, what we've done, what we could, and, uh, you know, Wildest Dreams kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, Guar. Guar goes all out. I think the stickiness or whatever, the wet. Uh, well, if. No. It can get bad. I. Yes, that I That happened to another band that we played with that wrecked the venue uh, on purpose or... Uh, <laughs> yeah, when you do a little Whoopsie. blood play, it's, it's sticky. Uh, personally, I don't... Um, as you know, I, um, I have a phobia against um, any kind of liquids or foods or touching me and staining my delicate skin, so I wouldn't like that. Mm-hmm. I'm a big proponent of uh, Purell and uh, baby wipes. He's not, just a little he's fun not fact. Kidding. Not kidding. It's real. God, get off me! <laughs> it smells like your finger now. Go! <laughs> Pumpkins, lots of jack o' lanterns. There is times. We would like throw them out sometimes, like ho special Halloween occasions. But um, jack o' lanterns, that was a staple for a while. Um, Basically, anything to make the stage look like cool. A graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Cemetery. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy crawly. And like you mentioned, we did um, one Halloween by one tons. We got, we still got a lot. Man, listen, tons of jack o' lanterns. And we threw them out in the audience. And, um, one, and then I, I remember drop kicking one, and then, kick, and then the <laughs> pumpkin hit someone right in the face. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> oh. I'm still uh, in court over that. <laughs> yeah, and then like he was a little kid too. Uh oh. T um, can we had candy in it. Tossed it out. Did the whole thing. Um, that was cool. Um, yeah. I was a Dracula. For that day. And that was the... No, that was a different time. Was it? That was it, baby. Oh, yeah. And he was... Goatman cometh. <laughs> <laughs> we did it multiple times, so I don't know. Like, it, that, you know, if you're... Hey, if you're a man out there, which you might be, if you're tossing oh. shit out into the audience, it might hit somebody. <laughs> Jack Lanners, candy. Drumsticks. Drumsticks? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's happened. I don't do it anymore. Um, if you're nice and you ask, you might get one. Uh, but no more tossing out because that is dangerous. Why? Did something happen? That has happened before. Did somebody get poked in the eye? Did that happen? Okay, so we're playing this very nice in one of the bigger venues. Okay. Tell them, not me. One of the bigger venues, okay? Your horror story. Sea, sea of people, right? So you think, oh yeah, all these big, you see the big bands, they do the, they toss it out, right? Well, <laughs> well, got done. We were like, okay. woo! The drugs, woo! the hookers. And then, uh, and <laughs> whoa, the, everyone was like, yippee! And um, I thought it'd be a great idea to just whip the stick out. <laughs> I didn't just, here you go, that's that's the normal way. Here you go. I whipped it out into the audience, mm -hmm. and the person that got hit found me later and said, hey, that hit my head. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry. And we're good. No court order for me. <laughs> A little shake. Can I, can I uh, get the number for your lawyer? <laughs> Uh, I'm still Saul in Goodman, baby. Oh, I get it. Hey, Breaking Bad. 
dun, 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 dun. This is the third Breaking Bad reference out of all the videos. Can you point them out and let us know in the comments? Anyway, it's almost as if you were being bought out by <laughs> AMC. Showtime. Is it Showtime? No, AMC, AMC mother. Mm. No, no, no. That'd be great though. <laughs> Calibris. The Calibris TV show. The um brought to you by Showtime um, and HBO Go. The, um my my favorite part of Breaking Bad is at the end when um, Walter White he gets bitten by that zombie. Remember that? <laughs> You, oh my god, yeah. The zombies, dude, that is the craziest thing. When zombies started happening in Breaking Bad. I thought it was weird. From but, the drugs. Oh, well, <laughs> is that it? Sorry. So, spoiler. Do you want to delete that? <laughs> All that blue stuff turned everybody. Yeah, who would have thought? From the very beginning to the very last episode that it was all zombie related. Anyway, enjoy it if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Wait, you're watching Walking Dead? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Have you seen it? No. I've only seen a couple episodes. Yeah, of no. Maybe like a half, one half of Walking Dead. Anyway, it's Breaking Bad. We're fucking around, but you know, you're fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. No, don't tell me that. Oh no, you don't shoot But um, yeah. All right, all right. Um, black and white, baby. Me and me and B. Doing the black and white style, you know, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to say thanks. Like we're at church. <laughs> but thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and asking, and spending your time with us. Your boy Bobby here has a question for you guys. It's true. Since we are talking about. Theatrics. Theatrics. On stage setup. What do you got? The big shit. The lotion. The, the, the fire. The demons. The guys in the <laughs> Rob Zombie walking around in the robot. You got all that. I want to know. We're pretty awesome too. You know, our stage setup. I, have, you, have you ever seen us? There's, um, I like that setup. Um, it's, uh, it's a new technique. Um, it's pretty badass. They have all these, uh, cans of beer around me. It looks really cool. Um, anyway, yeah, you pick it up there, you go there, it looks really cool on stage, I'll tell you that. Anyway, I want to know, what has been your favorite, best fucking craziest concert you've ever been to, with the biggest badass stage show you've ever seen? I want to know, in great detail. descriptive detail, so That's we can right. steal it. <laughs> Maybe possibly be inspired by. Yeah, oh, inspired. Inspired. The great uh, Picasso quote. Ouch. AKA. Feel like an artist. AKA that was somebody else. But anyways, so we can maybe take some tips, some pointers. Yeah. Just write tips, down some below. tricks. Yeah, we want to know. Find them in the comments. Oh wait. I know what they're gonna put. Rammstein. <laughs> Those motherfuckers, they literally they have sex with each other on stage. Whoa! That's what I heard. The, um, you go to the show, they, and they, they have fuck each other. Who want? <laughs> um, if you want someone who plays with fire, they play with fire. Yeah, fire. Oh shit, Nine Inch Nails. Think it all out. Fire and fucking. They beat us. I don't even want to know. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Case closed. But for real, there's got to be other guys out there, other uh, dudes, chicks, whatever, um, bands, oh. you know, doing like crazy shit. We want to know, because okay. we want to be inspired. And the best way to know um, is by being inspired. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did, uh, was, that full, was that a full... Um, no, my uh, head is spinning. I'm not sure. And just say goodbye. All right. Okay, say goodbye. Thank you very much. It's been fun. Stop touching me. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. It's always a blast. Keep those questions coming. Oh, yeah. We'll keep those answers coming. And if you haven't, Google Rammstein Live because that'll fucking freak you out. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Or whatever it is. Goodbye. <laughs>